video of this series. In video 01, we finished off with observatory quest completed. Now we're going to proceed with Monk's Friend by running a little bit north. And here we are dancing with Brother Omad. Whoop! Oh, baby. Feel the rhythm. Watch me go. And there's the quest completed, which is helpful towards getting access to Fossil Island and will give us some woodcutting levels. Then we'll proceed with Hazil Colt. Make sure you help Alamon and Hazil instead of doing the alternative option. That way you avoid the combat XP. There's the quest completed. Another quest completed towards Fossil Island access and kudos. And we also gain level 14 thieving. Here we are thieving level 23 thieving, which is the requirement for our next quest. Head over to Brimhaven through taking Captain Barnaby's charter ship. And here we are starting Tribal Totem. Turn the totem in for two additional thieving XP levels and some additional swordfish. There's 25 thieving and access to fruit stalls. We're going to go ahead and proceed with stealing silk and get 32 thieving so that we have access to rogues. We can obtain a knife from the general store and run and take this to the wilderness. By slashing the web, we can thieve these rogues and gain access to an iron dagger. Head back out and home telly when you do get it. Could take a while. And start doing some easy tasks for around the lumberage area on our way to the ham hideout. The ham hideout we're going to thieve until we get the rusty sword. It can be pretty annoying. Then we'll get 15 woodcutting for oaks. Head back and give the sword to Tyndall Marchant. And then we're going to proceed with finishing our next quest. Sheep herder. Then we'll head to the Grand Tree and buy some items. As well as trade Golik for some more items. And then we'll go ahead and proceed with Dwarf Cannon. We'll do Dwarf Cannon until we can't any further and then we'll head up to unlock the minigame Teleport to Barbarian Assault as well as start Plague City Quest. Keep in mind that the mask from Plague City is beneficial to keep because we'll utilize it later for Lovakin's favor since we won't have any levels of Slayer in order to wear the face mask. And here we are completing Plague City which will also give us some mining levels which will be helpful for Doric's quest later. Level 15 mining, and now we can mine iron. Also make sure to read the teleport spell. While we're here, we're going to go ahead and do some woodcutting and fire making training. You can go all the way to 50 if you want. I'm going to do that later on. But for now, the goal is to get 30 woodcutting. And there's 30 woodcutting. We can now cut willows. Then we're going to go ahead and get some fletching levels. Here's 10 fletching. And we're going to start the quest Sea Slug for some fishing levels. Let's help Kenneth get back to his papa. And here we are talking to Caroline to finish the quest. And there is Sea Slug completed, completed and we will also get 25 fishing, which is nice because we should be able to go straight to fly fishing. We'll also start Biohazard. And here, this is very important. We are going to do the quest within Biohazard that requires combat, but in this case, we can omit it entirely by chat manipulation. Get to the Your No Doctor point in the chat and then have the Alt attack. It's very important how you do this because a lot of people don't know exactly how you avoid the combat XP, but what you actually have to do is wait for exactly when he hits and press the space bar to get the key. If you don't do the timing perfectly, just restart. And here we are starting Gertrude's cat and also buying some items for the, the biohazard from Verok and also doing some Verok easy diaries and starting Romeo and Juliet as well as starting Demon Slayer. Here we are in Verok Museum getting all of the kudos that we need but I'm not going to actually get any Slayer level so I don't need to talk to him for the completion. Then we're going to start Shield of Arav and go ahead and mine some items and cut some logs and go ahead and start doing some more Varrock Easy Diary stuff as well as continuing progress with Rune Mysteries. 
And here we are actually doing the next part of Shield Arab. What you want to do is make sure the alt kills whatever is out there. Give the key to your alt or to somebody who's helping you out. And then run back to safety while they run up and kill the actual guard protecting the Phoenix crossbows. Once they're back, make sure that they kill whatever is in your way. In this case, there's something trying to attack me. They will give you the key back. Now you run up there with the key and you will obtain both Phoenix crossbows that are needed for this quest. Without avo And avoiding this, uh, or doing this avoids getting any combat XP. We'll go ahead and thieve some tea for Vark Easy, as well as proceed with the quest Biohazard, and then proceed with doing RF's uh, Shield RF quest. There's also a CC you can go to if you need some help. Here you can see this lovely noob Revive Snake is completing the quest with me. And this is the only quest that is kind of annoying because you have to have help from somebody else. And there is Shield of Arav, another quest done for access to Fossil Island. We're also going to pay the lad 100 coins to proceed with Gertrude's quest. Buy a Steel Axe to replace. Milk some Diary from the cow. We're going to mine some Iron Ore south of Varrock and head over and complete some diaries while we go to do Gertrude's cat. Make sure you give the seasoned sardine and cut down the dead tree for a diary and start the new quest that introduces you to construction. I think it's called the Big Daddy quest. I really like this quest in the terms of how it demonstrates the skill. I think this is a lot more beneficial than Tutorial Island and I wish that Old School would redo or have an option to not do the Old School one and instead do that for every skill. And here we are completing it, getting six construction and turning in what is needed to old man Yarlow. Here we are at Marlow completing the daddy's home quest. This is going to also give us a construction box. I would hold on to it without opening it. I opened it, which was probably not a good idea. I thought it would give me an option, but it didn't. And this will give us some items to start contracts. Go ahead and complete Gertrude's cat. And there it is, Gertrude's cat. This will also give us some cooking XP and a kitten. This kitten will later on be worthwhile for death rooms. Proceed with Romeo and Juliet. And here at Father Lawrence, it's really kind of interesting because apparently this sermon isn't captivating enough. So here you go. We don't live a holier-than-thou life looking down on others because we are no better. We didn't come out of the womb any better. It's God's sheer grace. And so you don't walk around with a pompous holiness that is antithetical to the Christian worldview. But in humility and in true love for the other, we represent the holiness of God by His grace, the Holy Spirit leading us in that. Amen. And now we'll proceed with utilizing what we need to for the completion of Romeo and Juliet. I really do think it's sad that Juliet basically killed herself and her friend helped her in order to earn this guy's love. Let's see what he has to say about it. Just when you think that he's going to do the right thing, of course he doesn't. We'll also proceed with Demon Slayer getting all of the keys that we need. We just want access to the silver light, even if we're not going to do it. Then we're going to start the Night Sword, start our first contract, and go ahead and proceed by finishing with Doric's quest. If you want to ever utilize my stuff, you shouldn't have to do a quest to get it, but there is Doric's quest. And now we have access to his anvils and also got some mining levels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.